I was there, but I didn't, didn't get in. And a two-hopper to Petrie. It's been a good inning. Walt Schmidt crosses him up and drives it into the alley. That's going to go for at least two. He takes a peek, but that's where he'll remain. A double leading off the game for Walt Schmidt, who led off the Louisville victory Tuesday with a home run. A run, the ball hit up the middle on the ground. Well, he won't get a chance to yep. swing the bat. He's come on in the ninth inning. Runner goes. He's going to have to go back as Lopez pops it up. Fooled on the pitch, and Christian Moore hauls it in. 2 2. Breaking ball. Here's measures. That'll do it. There's that edge. Ran it under the hands of the left handed hitter. For the little guy. Trouble. End of the bat. James McCoy takes a base hit away from Dean Curley. Scoring at home. Hit hard in deep. McCoy, or rather, Nolan McCarthy goes back. And that's out. Caught the top of the fence. That's a home run. So the team that loves to hit bombs gets one from a guy who's only hit now five. But that gives Tennessee the early 2 nothing lead. With not much wind there, too, so you can't say it was a wind aided at all, but this ball sounded solid right off the get. That was a deep part, and you really have to hit it really well. McCarthy goes back, but just runs out of real estate. Well, the way he was tracking, didn't pitch on the board. Nicholson chases a pitch way outside. Got that inner edge. Second strike out of the inning for Cossey. No, I don't think so. Yep, he did. That's according to first base umpire Kevin Smith, or rather, Brian DeBrower, came in and has not allowed anybody on base since, but this may change here. Walt Schmidt, deep and gone. Did I mention he's been barreling up the baseball? <laughs> I believe I mentioned that. But you know, that's what you're supposed to do with a 2 and 0 pitch. He looked for a fastball, especially against Causey, who's been pitching very good on the corners. If you could get yourself up in the count, and that's what this guy's done. I tell you, since he got healthy, got back in this lineup, and they've got all kinds of signs and gimmicks for everything they do, buddy. But this is just 2 and 0. He knows he's hit it pretty darn good, too. earlier even the foul balls he's been hitting just missiles that was a no doubter we made pretty quick work of their starter but that's what they do every game um, that's what they do they go right to that guy so um, yeah I thought we did a good job of the starter and got this guy in there quick and An inning scored ahead of the home run and he hits it hard second time through the lineup volunteers are having a good time in this inning so back to back singles Frozen with 92 miles an hour, two out. Got away from Burks. Runners move up now, second and third. Uh oh. Amber. Is that number two? Nope. Walt Schmidt yeah. pulls it in just for a moment. End of the bat. He's going to get on base. Came back with the third straight changeup. Looks like he's coming back in. Got him. They pick off Nicholson. 3 1. Lashed into the corner. Walt Schmidt giving chase, but that's going to be extras. And a double with one out for the Volunteers. I think we've seen the sun all day. Ball got away from Burks. Couldn't find it. Solid shot to left, and Moore shakes his fist at the Tennessee dugout on his way to first. An RBI single. And it's another two run lead for the Volunteers. 
Looked like a pretty good pitch. Again, the 0-2. Short right field. There's Petrie giving way to McCarthy. Well, the committee meets. And <laughs> it's the center fielder who takes it. Foul ground for Nicholson running out of room. Got it. And McCoy gets things started with a solid shot to right. Bill State runner goes. Burke swings to protect him. McCoy with the easy steal. Second strike out of the night. Devin Burks. Hot shot, but right at Amick. And that'll do it. Wildcats put a man in scoring position. A little something. And Puzer impressively finishes up a perfect inning. Breaking ball, playable, and hauled in by Burke. And there it is again, that backdoor breaking ball. That broke about eight inches. Two balls, two strikes. Daly chases, hasn't it over yeah. the last decade? Oh man, yeah it has. When you look at the last, That is hammered in the left. Dryling will be able to collect it and hold him to a single, but finally McCarthy gets a chance to barrel one. It's a three-pitch strikeout. Big out for the balls. One down. Hitters count. And a walk for Devin Burks loads the bases with one out. That'll chase a run home, and it's a 3-2 game with runners at second and third and two out. He jammed Walshman with a good pitch. Ryan fought it off, and Burke had just the one play at first. Off the mitt of uh, Amick. Oh Here my comes goodness. Devin Burke, and he wow. scores. Well, we talked earlier about the execution by Tennessee, and that time, a tough break for Amick. And the throw that came in from Dryling allows the Wildcats to take the lead. Petrie goes. And with two outs, the Wildcats gamble, but they've done it all year. Wait a minute. All catcher's interference, maybe. Ah, oh, you're right. Well, got to be catching his interference because it's a foul right. ball. He caught it, so it's got to be. Grant Smith at first. Yeah. That's a four-pitch walk, and they're loaded. Lopez does his job, extends the inning. Daly first pitch swinging, sends it high and deep. the wall tears brings it in and denies Daly his second grand slam of the year off the mid of Nicholson just a rocket shot by Blake Burke went on with one out and that plunked him he's on again That was a real good one there. Pulling the string, brother. Foul ball. Does it stay playable? Grant Smith pulls it in. That's out number three. Made a habit of just finding a way to win. Did that he get it? Hammered high and deep. I don't think it's deep enough. Is it? Yes, yeah. it is. It just kept going. Big blue bomb for Nolan McCarthy. Did I mention insurance? That'll do. Last time up, he got a high breaking ball that he hammered for a single to left field. This time, it's a fastball. He's not sure if he got it. He knows he's hit it pretty good. Boy, 
that's a good picture right there. And it just carries out by quite a ways. Another off-speed pitch. Staying in here. How limber is Blake Burke? <laughs> now it's a leadoff walk. Wow. That's the confidence he's got in that pit. Came on for Dalton Bargo, and he sends it high, but short right field. McCoy comes on. Two out. High, but not deep. McCarthy in center. Pause for it. This one's over, and it belongs to the Wildcats. <laughs> Kentucky five. Tennessee three and Kentucky wins the season opener. Number three beats number four.